Hi, I am Myla J.C. Cantoa, first year nursing student at Central Mindanao University, and today I am going to demonstrate a procedure called buccal and sublingual drug administration. Um, but before we can do that, we need to do an assessment, which is to assess for any redness and swelling of the buccal and sublingual cavities. So the possible nursing diagnosis are risk for infection, risk for activity intolerance. So for the material needed, we need a buccal and sublingual medications, gloves, and a alcohol-based hand rub for hygiene. Since we're all set, let us now start the procedure. For procedure number one, verify the doctor's orders. This is for the verification of proper medication that should be given to the right patient. For procedure number two is you need to compare the medication label with the order in the patient's medication record. Uh, this is to ensure that the right patient receives the right medication. So now we're going to do it. The patient is going to drink a vitamin D12 and it is the same with the record. So procedure number three is to check the patient's medical record for an allergy or a contradiction to the prescribed medication and if there is any, notify the practitioner. So this ensures the safety of the patient. For procedure number four is to check that the medication hasn't expired. So since expiration date indicates period that the medication remains uh, usable or consumable. So we have here, uh, it's going to expire September 2022. Certain here, it is still consumable since it is not yet expired. So for procedure number five is to visually inspect the medication for loss of integrity. So this ensures the safety of the patient. It is safe. There isn't any problem with it. So now we're going to proceed with the procedure number six, which is to perform hand hygiene to prevent contamination or the spread of microorganisms. And after doing this, we need to proceed to procedure number seven, which is to put on gloves to prevent contamination. And now we're going to put our gloves. Since we are all set, we are now going to proceed to procedure number 8. Confirm the patient's identity. This ensures that the right patients receive the right medication. So you need to ask the patient for their complete name and their birthday. So now we're going to ask the patient, Ma, kung siya mong pangalan, ma'am? Marita Pantoa. Kano sa mo birthday? September 28, 1960. Any allergies, ma'am? Okay, ma'am. So now we're going to proceed to procedure number nine, which is to provide privacy for the patient, um, to reduce the anxiety of the patient, and promote safety, security, and dignity of our client. So now we're going to proceed to uh, procedure number 10, which is to verify that you're administering the medication at the proper time in a prescribed dose and by the correct route. So it is said here that we are going to give the medication to the patient at 9 a.m. and it's on the right time and we're going to give a 500 milligrams of the medicine. So now I am going to show you the two steps the buccal and the sublingual later on we are going to proceed to procedure number 11, which is to assist the patient to a sitting position. Ma'am, I am going to assist you into a sitting position, so calmly. And now we're going to proceed to procedure number 12, 
For procedure number 12 is to assess the patient's oral mucosa for redness or altered integrity. So if the inflammation is observed, stop the administration of the medication for the safety of the patient itself. So ma'am, tanggalan ang imong mask ma'am. Tanggalan na ko imong ang baba ng paa. Ah. Ah. Close your head ma'am. So for procedure number 13, since it is all good and there's no inflammation present, we are now going to proceed to procedure number 13, which is for buccal administration. Place the tablet in the buccal pouch between the patient's cheek and gum. So we're, I am first going to demonstrate that to you. Ayog pa ako, ma'am. Ayog to nila. O, ayog ka nang inamog tubig, ma'am. So, ilat lang yun siya nga mahilis yung iyahawang, ha? Okay? Thumbs up ko, okay? So, for the next uh, step is for sublingual administration, you need to place the tablet under the patient's um, tongue. So, I'm going to demonstrate that to you. So, ma'am, Open na ang baba, ma'am. Magbot na kong tambas. Ilan lang siya mong dila, ma'am. Ha? Okay. Ayaw pa ka, ma'am. Ayaw tunla. O ayaw. O gina mong tubig, ma'am. Habang sagbi lang di siya nga mahilis, ma'am. Okay? Okay. So, the drug should not be swallowed. The drug may or will act locally on the mucous membrane of the mouth. So, we are now going to proceed to procedure number 14, which is to tell the patient to keep the medication in place until it dissolves completely. This is to avoid contamination and to avoid um, leftover drug in the mouth and to ensure that the effectiveness of the medication is being applied. So, we already did that. And for procedure number 15, which is to caution the patient against chewing the tablet or touching it with its tongue. This is to avoid leftover drug in the mouth and for contamination. So since we already did that, we're going to proceed to procedure number 16, which is if the practitioner ordered a sublingual spray, they need to have the patient open his mouth for administration and to remind her not to breathe while you are spraying its medication. This is to ensure that the medication goes to the proper area and not to reroute due to inhalation of air. Procedure number 17 is to remove and discard your gloves. And the next step would be is to perform hand hygiene. This is to prevent um, the spread of microorganism and contamination. And the next step would be is to document the procedure. This is to keep the data and record the patient for the next nurse attendant that will attend to the patient. So, hi. So now it's all done. We're now done with the procedure. Thank you for watching.